All right, hello friends, hi scholars. Welcome back to another day of learning. Today we are going to read our story, Who's Buying, Who's Selling? And this story was written by Jennifer Larson and it's actually available to you on your Epic account, okay? So when you log into Epic and you go and see assign assignments or assign stories, this is going to be the one assigned for you today for our social studies. So. Who's buying, who's selling, understanding consumer and producers. Here we have a table of contents. A table of contents is a text feature and the table of contents lets us know where to find or what page to find certain information. All right, so let's get into it. Consumers, mmm, the treats at this bakery smell good. This boy buys a cookie. Oh, Miss Child loves cookies. He buys one for his sister, too. That's very nice of him. When you buy something, you are a consumer. A consumer buys goods and uses services. So here they give the definition or the meaning of the word consumer. Remember that a consumer buys goods and uses services. Here we have a caption to go along with our picture and it says, these consumers are enjoying the cookies they bought. So they purchased the cookies and that makes them the consumer. They buy the goods and use, and use the services. A good is something we can touch, such as a bike. A service is something someone does for another person. A person who fixes bikes provides a service. Producers, where do goods and services come from? People have jobs making goods and providing services. Here at the bottom of page eight, we, page eight, we have a caption and it says, dairy farmers provide a good. They raise dairy cows. The cow's milk is a good. Someone who makes a good or provides a service is called a producer. Here we see a picture and it's a caption to go along with it. And this man is making a good. He is making cheese. So remember that producers are someone, or in some cases, something that makes a good or provides a service. Producers need resources to make goods and provide services. Resources are things producers use to create goods and services. Here on page 10, we see a gentleman who had, and a caption says, wood is one example of a resource. Wood and nails are resources a builder uses to make a house. A screwdriver and a wrench are resources used to fix a bike. Ooh, blueberries. Fun fact, Miss Stroud actually does not like blueberries. <laughs> Producers decide what to make with the resources they have. Here we have a caption that says, these blueberries are resources for a baker. A baker has lots of blueberries. She decides to make blueberry pie. Buyers and sellers. Buyers and sellers depend on each other. People need food and clothes. They need a place to buy them. Sellers provide many things we need and want. This house painter is selling a service people want. Sellers depend on buyers too. When you buy a good or a service, the seller earns money. Sellers use the money they earn to buy the things they need and want. Here on page 17, we have a caption of two ladies and it says, this woman earned money to sell new homes to families. She can use that money to buy items such as clothes, clothing, or she can invest in it. The price is an amount, I'm sorry, the price is the amount of money people pay for a good or service. The seller decides the price. Here we have a caption and this says, a grocery store worker makes sure the price on the food are correct. If the price is too high, no one will buy it. If the price is too low, the seller may not, might not 
earn enough money. Here on page 19, we have a caption and it says, this clothing is priced at $10. Will it sell? I don't know. It depends if it's nice. Anywhere people buy and sell goods and services is called a market. Consumers make choices about what to buy in a market. Here we have a caption at the bottom of page 20, and it says, people are selling goods in this outdoor market. On page 21, different farmers are all selling apples. How will you decide which ones to buy? You might decide by, based on price, or you might buy the apples that taste best to you. Cost and benefit. Consumers might think about the cost when they buy something. The cost is what we give up. We give up money and the chance to buy something else. Here we have a caption at the bottom of page 22. It says, this girl is thinking about the cost of buying a bike. On page 23, consumers also think about the benefits of spending their money. A benefit is what we gain when we buy something. We get what we want or need. Here there's a caption and it says she decided that the benefit of the bikes of the bike were greater than the cost. <clears throat> we all make choices about what we buy. You might need new pencils for art class, but maybe you also want to buy a toy. What are the costs of buying pencils? What are the benefits? What are the costs and benefits of buying the toy? On page 25, there's a caption. It says, if you buy the toy, you won't have pencils for art class. Hmm, which one do you think is beneficial? The pencils for art class or a new toy? Supply and demand. It is a hot day and you are thirsty. You see just one lemonade stand. The demand for lemonade is high. Lots of people want it. They have only one place to get it. The seller can set a high price for the lemonade. On the other hot day, you see a lot of lemonade stands. The supply is high. That means there is a lot of lemonade. Sellers can't set their prices too high. You can find a good deal on lemonade. Activity, cost and benefits. Help Max decide what to do with his $10. He wants to buy a kite. The kite costs $10, but he also wants to buy his brother a birthday present. What That costs $7. What are the benefits of each choice? What are the costs? Max has already started a list of costs and benefits. Can you think of another can you think of other costs and benefits for Max and add to his list? So here it says cost and benefit. The kite is $10. The cost. He would spend all the money on one thing and he would not be and he will not have a present for his brother. The benefit is that he will have a kite he really wants. The birthday present is $7. The cost he will not have a kite that he wants, but the benefit is that his brother will be happy. I will have money left over to buy something else. What would you do? Would you buy a kite or would you buy the birthday present? At the end of our story, we have a glossary. The glossary provides the definition and the meanings of words. Take a moment to read over the definition and the meanings of words as I read them aloud. Benefit. What a person gains from buying something. Consumer. Someone who buys goods and uses services. Cost. What a person gives up to buy something. Demand. The need or desire for a good, for a good or service. If there is a demand for something, many people need or want it. Earn. To get money or work done. To get money for work done, excuse me. Good. A thing you can touch that can be bought and sold. Market. Anywhere goods and services are bought and sold. Price. The amount of money people pay for a good or service. Producer. 
someone who makes a good or provides a service, resources, things used to create goods and services. Service, work done by someone for another, for others. Supply, the amount of a good or service available. That is all for our story today. Stay tuned for a review of how to do today's assignments. Bye.